Welcome back everybody. Uh, per your request, I have a video today that I want to break down and actually give you an update on our latest venture which is having our small fleet of cars on Toro. So I want to give you an update so I put a poll on our channel and most of you responded with wanting to see you know an update on the small fleet and how we're doing on Toro. So we're gonna have that and so much more in this video, so stay tuned. Welcome back everybody thank you so much for watching since the beginning you know when we started putting out our videos one of the things that we wanted to do really was uh, start to build our business credit and also document our entire journey so with that uh, we wanted to help other people in our same situation that they can take notes, avoid the things that we did wrong along the way and, all, and, and, and copy the things that we did right. So from the get-go, from the beginning when we started putting out these videos that we started building our business credit, we have brought you along with us and you can go back and watch those videos and you'll see the progress and how we started applying for net 30 accounts just like you guys uh, you probably started right now building your business credit and I'll tell you the truth do not give up uh, do not get discouraged when you get denied keep pushing keep pushing don't get discouraged if you get denied wait a little bit if you want that account so bad wait a little bit and reapply again wait 30 days and reapply for that same account so if you guys go back to my videos you will see our entire journey how we got from nothing from having no business credit uh, all the way to where we are with a fleet of uh, cars uh, entirely under our business name and this is our uh, you know the step prior to getting into real estate investing which was our original goal so again guys uh, the idea with these videos and this channel uh, was to help you guys those of you who have been in the same situation that we were back when we started we want to be a resource to you so you can see right uh, from our perspective that it can definitely be done okay you don't have to necessarily be making a million dollars in your business to get this business credit that's what traditional banking makes us believe but that is really not the case and again coming back to the original um reason for this video uh, i wanted to take you back a little bit from the beginning just to bring you uh to the present and talk about how we are leveraging our small fleet of cars again it's not a lot of cars like a lot of people other people have you know a fleet of 10 15 20 cars this is only five cars uh, remember that we first got three 2021 Nissan uh, Rogues uh, out of those three we have to return one so we kept two and then on our second uh, venture we got three Chevrolet tracks so uh, we have two 2021 and one 2020 Chevrolet tracks the reason why I got the 2020 model because it was an opportunity to get an LT trim at a very very good price we just wanted to let you know guys these vehicles their business assets right they have to generate an income in order for us uh, to maintain those assets right and benefit of the business uh, so what we thought was putting these uh, vehicles on Toro to start generating an income and when we started right with the first three cars we received the cars the dealer delivered the cars 
and the same day we went out took the photos and we put them on Toro and I tell you guys when I was uploading the first car on Toro uh, I didn't even finish writing down the description and that car was rented right then and there even before uploading everything on Toro. Now to be honest, I mean, the car was live because I pushed the car live as soon as I put um, uploaded the photos and then I said, I'm going to push the car live and then I'm going to write uh, the description uh, in a few minutes after. So that's exactly what we did. Uploaded the photos for the car, uploaded the price, and then as we were writing the description after we pushed the car live, uh, it was rented the same day we put it on Toro. So one thing that I want to clarify, this video really, what I wanted to do is actually inspire you uh, to continue your business credit building journey, okay? If you want to get really inspired, just go back to our first videos, our first, second, third video. Go back and you will see how we started to build our business credit. So again, this video, I don't want to get too technical, really. Uh, the idea for this video is just to inspire you. Uh, so being able to have an additional income stream had been made possible by you know leveraging business credit so i want you to be very very meticulous when you're building your business credit because remember uh, this could mean a significant uh, revenue for the business so keep that in mind take your business credit building journey very seriously um, try to focus right i know there's a lot of noise out there but try to focus Remember that being approved for business credit is not the end goal. Being approved and using that trade line or line of credit is the ultimate goal because remember, vendors are not going to report anything to the business credit bureaus if there is nothing to report, if that makes sense. If you have a, a line of credit uh, and you don't use it, if you have a net 30 account and you don't use it, then the vendors are not going to report anything because there needs to be a transaction from that line of credit in order for them to report a transaction, okay? Some vendors, they will even shut down your account if you don't use it. So I will encourage you that if you get approved for a line of credit, you have to use it. You know, when we got our Best Buy account, we were using that account. I was purchasing cameras from Best Buy and I will use them for the YouTube channel. And if I didn't need those cameras, I will resell the cameras just to be able to pay the net 30. So use your accounts wisely. If you have a Best Buy, an Amazon or any account that you can leverage, use it. And then, you know, if you don't need the items, you can resell them, okay? Remember that, again, I cannot say that enough. Uh, vendors are not going to report anything if, if there isn't anything to report. Just because they approved you, that does not mean that they will report anything to the business credit. So the reason why I'm taking the time to explain this is because I see that across the board all the time, in our own Facebook group and other Facebook groups as, as well, uh, saying you know that the vendors are not reporting, that they, they don't see anything reported in their business credit. So the thing is, is that there's nothing to be reported. You have to use it, use that account. This is the way you build business credit. Uh, this is the way other vendors are able to go into your business credit and see and see. Okay, so they got two thousand dollars for quill from quill and they use they're using that account and they're paying back okay so that's how they they see it uh remember that you know the game is laid out you just have to play it play it well be wise and be strategic uh when you know using your business credit because remember 
this is how we got here. Again, we're not experts. We're just regular like you. Um, we wanted to build our business credit uh, to be able to generate wealth, to be able to generate uh, an income stream. Uh, we wanted to leverage our business credit. That was our, we have a clear goal from the get go. And this is the reason why we're here. Did we make mistakes um, along the way? Oh my goodness, plenty of them. We made plenty of mistakes. Um, but here we are leveraging. This is huge, guys. I don't know how. I don't know how huge this is for you guys, but this is huge for us because being able to leverage business credit without the need of putting, you know, personal guarantee or without the need of putting any cash, because we did not put any cash, guys. We got five vehicles, no PG, um, you know, with no cash, zero down. So, so this is how you leverage business credit, you guys. This is how you create an ink, an extra income stream, and this is how you generate wealth. The next step for us guys is gonna be acquiring real estate uh, to be able to leverage that as well. I'm gonna keep you posted. I, I continue to bring you with me on our journey, and uh, there's more to come, uh, God willing, and um, we hope that you stay with us uh, in this journey and that you continue to learn. I hope that we're adding a lot of value to you guys. Uh, if that's the case, please drop a uh, thumbs up um, and also a comment on the comment section below. Your journey, how has it been? Uh, where are you at right now, okay? What are you working towards? Do you have a clear goal like what, like we do? What has been your biggest obstacle when building business credit? Uh, what are you trying to achieve again? In our case, like I said, we laid out a clear path, a clear goal to get business credit, to create an uh, income stream, to acquire real estate, and we are a, a step closer to that because we just acquire assets that are very valuable, uh, five vehicles under the business name, now, when these accounts start to report to the business credit bureaus, that is excellent because that is an auto loan that's been reported to the business credit. So anytime that we go to any dealer and they see they pull the credit and they see that, it's, it's a game changer, guys. So let us know down in the comment section below. Um, you know, I'm gonna drop in the comment section below. If you guys are building your business credit, there's some links that I'm gonna post on the comment section, and I do it on all of the videos. I post links down there just to help you uh, build your business credit. Now, full disclosure, these links are uh, affiliate links that I get either some kind of uh, reward from the vendor or some credit. In the case of A to B guys, there's so many of you that have applied, like hundreds of you, hundreds of you have applied for the A to B card and the and then you've been approved. So, but just not many of you are using the card. So this is my point when I talk about getting approved for accounts and then you don't use them. So this is why uh, your business credits are not where they should be because you're getting approved for some accounts, but you're not using them. So for some of you that apply for the A to B gas card, the Visa gas card, 98% of you haven't used it. So use that uh, gas card, use it. A lot of you have trucking businesses. This gas card can be used anywhere. So use it, leverage that. So in any case, guys, this is all I have today. Again, take a look on the uh, description section. I'm gonna have some links there. All of those links are uh, dropped with the intention to help you be build business credit. All of those links report uh, to the business credit bureaus. So the sales and marketing director from Office Gardener reached out to us and uh, we became partners with them. So we have an affiliate link that we wanna uh, provide you with 
so Office Gardener, they report to Equifax, they report to Ensonia, they report to uh, Credit Safe, they report to the SBFE, guys, to the Small Business uh, Financial Exchange. That is huge. So I suggest that you guys take a look at Office Gardener. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for uh, for you guys to leverage this account, okay? This is just an account that you can order office supplies. Just check it out, guys. Again, they report to Ensonia, Credit Safe, Equifax. You know that not all uh, vendors report to Equifax. It is actually one of the hardest uh, credit bureaus to report to, but with Office Gardener, you can uh, order just office, uh, office supplies from them and get these transactions reported to Equifax and Credit Safe, uh, as well as Insonia, the SBFE, okay? So make sure that you take a look. All these links, guys, are going to be in the description down below. Take a look, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Me dice que me quiere amar Solamente quiere jugar Me dice que la quiere tocar Sé que tú te quieres tocar Me dice que me quiere amar Solamente quiere jugar